And listen, I know I'm doing a natty or not on this guy, but frankly, I love this guy. I love his attitude. I like what he says. I find him highly interesting. And so I'm a fan of this guy, but I gots to be honest. Coach Greg and Shannon Sharp is now 54 years of age and looks incredible. The best he's ever looked in his entire life. But is he in fact natural? Well, he claims he is, but of course he does. Who doesn't? What famous athlete, movie star, actor says, yeah, you know, I'm not natural. I take performance enhancing drugs. Pretty much nobody. And so in today's video, we're going to determine is Shannon Sharp a fake natural? Now I'm going to address this right away. You don't have to come out and tell people, make an announcement and say, I use PDs. You don't need to do that. That is not something I expect him to do. But if you post comments, make videos, and you announce that you're natural, that you never took anything, then at that point, we can then critique whether or not you're telling the truth or if in fact you're being dishonest. And so Shannon Sharp went to Instagram, posted a front double bicep looking phenomenal. And get this, he's 54 years of age. 54! Look at his physique. The abs detailed, etched in stone, and from the rear, bum screws everywhere. Absolutely a phenomenal athlete. Six foot two, 228 pounds, clearly single digit body fat. And so, does it make sense that this guy is actually natural? I mean, looking at the photos, you'd have to assume no way is this guy natural. Even if he were 20 years younger, that would be absolutely remarkable. And, but in this post, there's a video and it's titled Shannon on not taking PDs. I like how the hell I get tested seven, eight times a month and the punter get tested once and the kicker get tested once. I said, I thought it was random. So how am I randomly in 16 weeks getting tested seven times and they randomly get tested one time a year? Something ain't random about this. And listen, I know I'm doing a natty or not on this guy, but frankly, I love this guy. I love his attitude. I like what he says. I find him highly interesting. And so I'm a fan of this guy, but I gots to be honest. He says, why am I getting tested seven or eight times a month in comparison? Others are only getting tested once. And so in a 16 week season, I'm getting tested seven or eight times. Well, if he was actually getting tested seven or eight times a month, would that not lead to being tested perhaps four times seven or eight? So something at least in the twenties. And so he's slipping up. And so is that a sign that he's trying to be dishonest? When you're being honest and truthful and you're answering questions, you don't have to think. And so it reminds me of Mike O'Hearn, who's also about the same age and who also looks absolutely incredible. And so when asking Michael Hearn if he was on HRT, he says, why? Why would I need to do that? Are you actually on like TRT though? What would be the point though? What I mean, because be men's hormone levels dip as they get older. No, they don't. It's not like testosterone levels decline when you get older. And oh, were you ever tested in the past? Did you have low tests? Oh yeah, I was tested way back and I have low tests my entire life. Really? Oh, and what was it? Uh, 400s. Does anyone believe that? Does anyone actually believe that? If Skippy used to annoy the hell out of me because I work so hard. Everybody knows that everybody will tell you that's been around me. Shannon Sharp is the most disciplined person that I've ever met. Now, just because somebody thinks or accuses you of being a fake natural or that you're perhaps on HRT, that does not diminish the fact that we know that you are working hard. When I ask yourself right now, who is the hardest worker in the room? Who speaks of that all the time? What famous movie star always says he's up in the morning, 4.30, working hard, harder than everyone else? The Rock. The Rock, hardest worker in the room, puts in the work. Does anyone think The Rock is actually natural? But just because you're the hardest worker in the room, that you want it really bad, that you're putting in the work, does that mean or prove that you're natural? Of course not. If anything, those are the exact individuals that have the most motivation to take something. Think of it. They want it so bad, that physique, that career, that money. They want to look the best they can possibly be, to self-actualize, to be the best they can be. Is that not the exact individual that would seek out HRT to optimize their hormones, to get the most out of their physiques, out of their bodies? But nature is all about survival of the fittest. So how are you going to select to be natural if natural selection won't even select you? And so case in point, me, Coach Greg, I want to be the best that I can be. 
I want to maximize my potential. And so I'm currently on HRT. Yes, I am 140 milligrams a week. But does that mean I'm taking it because I don't want to train hard? That I don't want to put in the work? That I want to sit back and be lazy? Of course not. It simply means I want to be at my optimal self. The best, healthiest version of myself that I can be. So how am I randomly in 16 weeks getting tested seven times and they randomly get tested one time a year? But I'm cool. With, I'm like, I'm cool with it because I know I ain't on nothing. I ain't taking nothing. And so why would he care if he's being drug tested so many times if he knows he's going to pass? Listen, he could have been taking growth hormone the entire time. We just don't know. I can't go back 20 plus years, look at Shannon Sharp and say, I know he was a fake natty way back then. And so I've got to give him the benefit of the doubt. Gonna say he was natural throughout his football career. Gonna go with that. I have no problem saying Shannon Sharp, I think, was natural doing his football career, even though don't have proof, but he did in fact pass the test, although he could have taken things they weren't testing for. It's not proof that he was natural. But look at Lance Armstrong, tested and passed hundreds of tests, and we all know he was not in fact natural throughout his cycling career. And so drug tests being random, we all know that is garbage baloney. It's not random. They pick who they want to test. And so they looked at Shannon Sharp, saw his incredible physique, says he could bench press 470 pounds 25 years ago. And so they would have said, let's continue to test this guy because high likely we're eventually going to catch this guy. Personally, I think that's 100% bullshit because oftentimes people are taking PDs. They don't look like they're taking anything. Just because you don't have an incredible physique does not in fact mean you're natural. Oftentimes the people who are taking steroids, PDs and so on, they just want to look normal. They want to look healthy. They want to just look aight. Perhaps take their shirt off the beach and just fit in with the average individual. And so just because somebody doesn't look amazing, impressive does not in fact mean that they're natural. Beep. I, I'm doing this natty or not on Shannon Sharp. And I wanted to know, do you think that Shannon is natural? I don't even know who this girl Shannon is. So, yeah. so she has no idea who this person is. <laughs> I'm just giving you a hint. He played football. Okay, just, I, let's, I'm going to show you. Oh. I'm going to show you the physique. I can't look at something? No, I just want to show you the, I don't want you to see his name or anything. Like that. <laughs> well, right. seeing that I thought it was a girl, I clearly have no idea who it is. Okay, first of all, what percent body fat do you think this, this is? Uh... Mm. I'll show the back too. About 10. Nine. So about nine, nine or 10%. Or 10. So single digit body fat. <laughs> and, and does he look good, good for a guy that's playing in the NFL right now? Yeah, he looks really good. So how old would he you say like he is? looks like he's competing. Well, I was going to say he looks like he's maybe 35 or 40. And so he's 54 years of age and looks like and this. And he's still playing And in the he NFL. says he's natural. No, I said that to throw you I off. Mean that, I was trying to trick you to say, well, he's in the NFL. I wanted to make you guess oh, he's like super I was young be like, or something. Ooh. So what do you think? Natural or not natural? At 54, mm -hmm. looking like that. Right. Well, I don't know, maybe he has really good genes, but I'd say no. Do you know who else has great genetics? Who? Michael Hearn. This was my first time benching serious in over a year. I'd stopped benching altogether because it was too painful to tuck my legs underneath due to hip pain. And so he's struggling to train. He's had two hip surgeries and we're going to assume that he doesn't take anything to help speed the healing. Nothing. No growth hormone, no testosterone, nothing at all to speed the healing that he's hundred percent natural. And then a year after hardly benching ever, what does he bench? My hips feel better, and I think I might be able to breach my playing days bench of 470. Although I wasn't benching for over a year, I was doing heavy back, shoulders, delts, lats, and core. I will not sacrifice conditioning for a heavy bench, though. I believe I can achieve both, or I'm going to give it one hell of a try. Does that sound like somebody who's natural, that wants to bench as much at 54 as he could do in his prime, in his late 20s? If that's true, explain it. Explain it to me. How is it possible that 25 years past your prime, you can lift more than in your prime? How on earth could that happen? Oh, I used to compete in the Olympics. I ran the 100 meters 9.9. .9. You know, when I was in my late 20s, I'm 54 now. I'm going to run as fast as I used to in my prime. What? Is he going to then go out and run the 40 fast as he used to? You don't keep up this athletic ability. You can't be amazing forever. And frankly, 
He looks to be leaner and has more muscle now at 54 than he did in his prime. He has a similar physique and size conditioning, perhaps even leaner than Terry Crews himself, who we all know also 100% natural, right? Because if you're famous, if you have millions of followers, and if you're in your 50s and look better than most bodybuilders in their 20s, then of course you're natural, right? And so let's read some of the comments about his quest for a 470 bench, of which he's already benching 405 for two after a year without benching. First comment, Simeon Panda, 100% natural, strong. Next up, Ulysses World, also 100% natural, putting in that work. <sighs> And last but not least, FD Aftermath, who I also made a natty or not in the past. So isn't that amazing? The first three commenters, all guys who I believe also fake natties. Every drop of juice that was in this orange, which is this body, I got it out. Or is it every drop of juice I got out of that vial and put into my right glute or deltoid? One of the two, juice from, you get it? Juice from the juice or juice from the steroids is juice. You got it. I left no page unturned in prep trying to be the best I possibly could be. I, I, without a best, I know I was the best I could be. I can assure you that. And so he left no page unturned in prep trying to be the best he could be, to be his maximum, his ultimate human, to extend his career to the longest possible. And so do you really think that somebody that would leave no stone unturned wouldn't turn over the stone that reveals HRT? He's 54. He could go to a doctor, get a prescription, testosterone, and clearly make significant changes in his physique. Perhaps even bench press as much and or more than he was in his prime in his late 20s. After all, he'd be getting exogenous testosterone from an outside source, and his testosterone levels could in fact be even greater at 54 than they were in his 20s, right, girl skitted. Coupled with that, this guy has an amazing attitude, just like The Rock. Guy is just like The Rock, compared to The Rock, Rock, an amazing guy. The only thing The Rock doesn't do is come out and say, hey, I'm a fake natty. But aside from that, great attitude, great guy, great personality, Shannon Sharp, 100% the same way. But I'm a very self-motivated person. I'm a very driven person because I'm gonna work my ass off when nobody else is watching but me. And so just listen to this guy. He is motivated, driven. He will do whatever it takes to be the best. Not the best in the world. He says himself, I wasn't the best, but I was the best me. I did what I could do to optimize myself. I can't control other people. I can only put in the work myself. And he does it every single day. When no one's looking, when the camera's not rolling, he decides how hard am I gonna push myself? Am I going to put in the work? Am I going to do the cardio 100 freaking degrees? But what about when the camera's not rolling? What about when no one else is looking? Are you putting in the work? Are you giving it everything? Shannon Sharp 100% is doing so. And personally, I believe when you have that mentality, when you want it that bad, when you won't leave any stone unturned, to think that the guy would not be on HRT, I just don't buy it. I don't believe it. I could be wrong. I simply am betting the house that Shannon Sharp not 100% natural. And so let me know in the comment section, do you believe this guy at 54 looks this incredible, 100% natural? Or does he have the secret same as Michael Hearn on why he can look better at 54 than he was at 24? And so remember this, be all that you can be. Do not compare yourself to other people. Compare yourself to yourself. Optimize your health and fitness. Don't forget 150 minutes of cardio a week. It's not about being single digit body fat. It's about being better than you are. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. Greg Duset IP Pro. Check out one of the boobs. And as always, the harder than last time supplements. There's so many. Look at the friggin' size of the table here. The training books, the cookbooks, the friggin' circle diet book over there. The supplements, so many. I can't list them all. Subscribe, click the bell button, comment for the algorithm. And until next time, I'm out. <laughs> Let's give the people what they want. We want baby Nikki.